Hey guys, this is Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Uh, last time we did a lot of map exploration and we got a few upgrades for the CK1500, so we're going to be doing that right now. Uh, we're going to be upgrading the engine from the stock 4.0 to the 5.2 custom, yeah. Which would increase our power to weight, I guess, yeah, from a C plus, wow, to a... And I have to lower our fuel consumption, which kind of sucks, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal. We have the snow runner suspension. We're going to be ray using the race suspension from now on, uh, which also unlocks some uh, tires for us. Yeah, so big ass mud tires. That sounds great. On road, poor. I don't care. <laughs> we don't need roads where we're going. Off road, excellent mud, excellent. Um, and these are the chain ones for the ice, but we don't have any ice here, and I think it's gonna be a fair bit until we reach that spot. And I'm actually wondering if, there, if there's any difference in game wise, or is this just uh, visual because they're the same price? Well, either way, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna be spending the money on tires for the moment. Uh, I'm just going to be sticking with uh, what I have right now because we have something else today. Today, we're going to be using our Fleet Star. We're going back to the Fleet Star, the Majestic Fleet Star, to make another bridge. We're going to be making this wooden bridge here. Let's select the task, wooden bridge which needs two wooden planks, and we'll be getting the wooden planks here at the lumber mill. I'm not sure if this is a one slot or a two slot thing. I think it's a one slot. So uh, our uh, flatbed should be just enough for it. But we have to go there. Actually, we don't really have to go there, do we? Yeah, we do. So we'll have to go via the northern route. We're not gonna be risking any weird off-roads here so yeah let's make a quick route bam 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 it feels like this should be a, like a straighter route <laughs> but I guess that's it uh, yeah sure bam bam and we'll see when we get there that being said, let's head out. This is a quick check. We are, well, barely level four. <laughs> barely level four. And we've done like 20% uh, of Michigan. Which seems like a bit, like, too much given how much we still have left to do. Ooh, they're busy. And yeah, I was right. Um, there's auto and low and that's it with the stock gearbox. Once you get the, and I guess better gearboxes, you have more granular control over your um, gearbox. I was mentioning that uh, last episode that uh, the SnowRunner gearbox on the CK1500 had more ground control. It actually had the high range and selectable low ranges. Uh, and the stock gearbox on like this only has like low, auto, neutral, and reverse. And the only fidgeting thing you need to do is just to make sure you don't want to go back when you're in low range because, well, you don't have a low range for uh, going back. That's part of the auto. No, 
I'm not sure how accurate the gauges are, or if they... I mean... My RPM right now should be like... 1200, right? I switched to low, low gear, it's still 1200. <laughs> Now it's more. Okay. I'm not sure how the gauges work, but oh well. I mean, you'd be expecting a lot more RPM out of the low range. Anyone that uh, floored it in first gear uh, knows what I'm talking about. Come on. Don't make me actually use the all-wheel drive on you. You've done worse things than this truck. I'm hoping the... Um, the wooden planks are like one slot each, so I can just do it in one go, but it wouldn't be a big deal if I have to do two runs just because it's so close. I mean, eventually... I know for sure we will have to do like entire cross map with a huge trailer, you know, trips. I mean, we will get there at one point. But for the moment, uh, huh. just want to um, keep it light and breezy. Smack that engine up. Honestly, I'm not sure why it even triggers on like one. I mean, it seems like barely damage. It just makes you ignore it more than anything else. Until you did it like, I don't know, 20 times and you have 20 <laughs> engine damage. And it kind of amuses me that we spent like 20 liters of fuel just getting here. Good thing gas is free. Okay then, so... Um, let's take a left here. Okay, that's a trailer. Which I don't care about, in the very least. Cargo management. Wooden planks. Okay, cool. So, there we go. That's two out of two. That's enough. Uh, let's head here. Head here. Let's hope we don't get bogged up in that. We do have some poles, so we can use those to pull us up. To winch us on, if we need to. And wooden bridge here. Okay, so where's that path? That way, okay. I think it's time we engage the all-wheel drive for this. Okay, so uh, for the moment, the only two-slot thing we found were those metal pipes, metal beams. That's something to keep in mind. Oh, 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 what's this? Why is this this? Hmm, okay. I had a bit too much faith. So let's uh, winch ourselves out. Let's keep close to those uh, poles. Oh, wow. Come on. Come on, 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 I mean, winch power and the full capacity of this truck and I'm still barely. Yeesh. Okay, let's park and break it. Let's, um... Ooh. That was a fall. I'm pretty sure that, yeah, <laughs> that doesn't do as much as I thought it would. 
Uh, can I do the the trick? Yes, I can do the trick. That's a horrible trick. I'm not sure if that that should be legal, but oh well. Just winching myself via the rear. Okay, let's not scrape ourselves too badly on that. Let's freeze the winch. Hmm. Hmm. This is indeed a situation. I didn't think I'd have this big of a problem. Oh, was that just low range and having enough power? Weird. That's what I'm talking about when, you know, the low range should be the thing you use there to get out, not the auto. I'm not sure how the gearing is done or how well it's done. If I'm mistaken, there is a mod that does exactly that and just reworks the gearings. There's a upgrade part exactly here. Well, don't mind if I do. What's this? Oh, raised for the current truck. Cool. And is this? No, this is just for the fleet star. But still, great. I like me upgrades to this truck. Okay, let's hope we don't run into any. I was going to say stumps, but... <laughs> come on. Come on, you can do it. And I still don't know why we get that green tint on the fuel tanks and just on this truck. Oop, sorry about your barbecue there, man. 120 XP, 1400. Our, the river soul and our vehicles are having a nightmare trying to cross to the drilling site. We need a simple robust bridge to stop our truck getting waterlogged. Get to it. Okay. Show task. Actually, not show task. I need... I don't need... Sh oh, actually... Is the spot to drop it in a different spot? Yeah, I think it is. It's the white thing there. Cargo management. Unload. And there you go, simple wooden bridge. Pretty darn good. Time to settle up and get those trucks across. Thanks again. You're welcome, mate. Um, we are gonna check this out. And see if maybe we can get some cheap XP from just uh, uncovering new trailers. I think that's a fuel tank trailer. Oh no, that's a full service trailer, I think, right? With fuel and uh, uh, service. Okay, what are you stuck on? Just a tiny bit of mud? Okay. Yeah, a uh, fuel service trailer, so it actually does repairs as well as refueling. Oh, Scout 800? Did we completely... No, we didn't. We didn't go past this. Huh. Huh. Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, we want to recover that. I mean, it's... I think it's some dude's truck. <laughs> but, uh, sure. If it's recoverable, we will recover it. Oh, and do I have... Ah, cool. Sideboard trailer. Does this show what I can pick up with what I have right now? I think so. Cool. That's pretty, pretty cool. Or is this just stuff that has stuff on it? That's like two things on it. Is that the number of slots? No, actually, the, yeah, correct. This has two construction materials on it, and this has four empty slots because this was the thing we used for the construction materials for the bridge. Uh, but still, that doesn't help me very much. Uh, what? 
Oh, just because I have Riverside Repair active. Ah, right, so it shows me, with the tasks available, it shows me which of the trucks have the things I need. Right, okay. Yeah, true, so I need construction materials and wood planks, and that is... Sorry, service parts, and this is one service part here. Okay, cool. Uh, either way, what are we doing now? We still have a lot of time on the clock left. And this is just... There's nothing here, right? This is just the spot. Oh, no. Uh, it said getting us closer to the drilling site. So I think this is like the future site where the drilling thing will be going on. Ah, cool. So we'll be needing to uh, bring stuff here. In any ways, uh, let's have a look here. Riverside Repair. Boatman's house, service spare part, wooden planks. So we need to deliver to the boatman's house, to that guy, right? Yeah, we need to deliver to that guy. Uh, service spare parts and wooden planks. Mm, let's actually look. If I, if I was going to be doing something, I want to be doing this rock slide, getting this solved because it's one of the main routes that takes us out. So, for the rock slide, I need metal beams and service spare parts. And how do I activate this? Okay, this is weird. I cannot activate. Oh, right, I can't activate it because I haven't been there to actually pick up the quest. Uh, it's the thing I was talking about, uh, I think, in the last episode, that it's annoying that... Uh, I have to go there and actually pick up the quest for it, for it to actually start tracking and I like, see like metal beams and service parts on trailers. So one metal beams and service spare parts. Metal beams is from the town here, and it's pretty close. And I think that's the first one I need to deliver. Any actually no, I can deliver it in any order. But uh, actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's get the metal beams from the factory here. Because I'm relatively close. Uh, I don't think I need to refuel. But I do have a refueling station there if I super need to. So, yeah, let's do this. Let's go back here. Back through here. And let's head up into town. Let's pick up some uh, metal beams. And deliver them to the rock slide. some lights. To be honest, I think I should uh, switch over to the daytime, but uh, I've done a lot of uh, daytime footage. Might as well uh, show you guys some uh, nighttime if I'm doing this. I dread when I'll actually have to actually come through here with actual loads. And let's try turning off the all-wheel drive, unless I actually seriously need it. Just conserve some of that fuel, I don't want to visit the refueling station unless I have to. Oh, uh, what's this? Oh yeah, Ugh. it's still tracking the Riverside Repair, so that's why I'm getting that, which is annoying. I was thinking that uh, I just missed uh, that this area has something I need for the thing I'm thinking of doing. And the thing the game is knowing that I'm going to be doing.
in the town. Now, where was that? Is that an actual... Can I actually fuel there? That'd be cool. Completely ignoring any stop signs. Because who would actually want to uh, ram into this? Municipal warehouse. Okay, let's have a look here. Uh, so I need to pick up the little beams from the municipal warehouse, right? Um, actually, let's uh, let's pick up this missing machinery before anything else. So I don't forget about it, just have it there to be tracked in the future. Just accept whatever. And let's pick up... Oh! Uh, uh, okay. There's some metal beams there, but that needs a crane. Did I just mess it up somehow? I think I did. But I don't care. Let's just push that out of the way, because that's not what I care about. Cargo management, uh, metal beams. Do we want metal beams? What do you want for this? For the rock slide? Uh, one metal beams. Actually, is this a different rock slide? We have two rock slides available. Hmm. Okay, doesn't matter. Let's just get. Um, this is that rock slide, so we'll just get one metal beams. Cargo management, metal beams, load it, and let's go. Let's mark down the route. Yeah, this is not GTA when you can just run over a fire hydrant. Fire hydrants are pretty nailed down. Okay, so this is a roadblock. And can I? It's weird it doesn't show up didn't show up as a task. They keep knocking our infrastructure down, we don't have the resources to stop them. I'm sure if you can take a look. Okay, sure, let's activate this and let's have a look here. Oh, right, so that was ugh, annoying. Um, that was the thing, right, which I, the quest I sh should pick up so that I can drop it there, which is a good thing because otherwise I had to go all the way back here. Man, ugh, that's annoying. Again, we all remember the first episode, the uh, issues. You know, I think I'll just uh, maybe do uh, an off the camera episode where uh, I'll be just taking all of these things and leaving them to be tracked. Okay, let's accept the stock trailer as well. get all the things tracked so we don't have to bother with uh, whether I have it or not and just deal with the ob actual objectives. Oh, there's actually another one. Drainage. Oh, yeah. Pfft, annoying. Were I to have went to do the pumps for this quest, I would not be able to because I had to pick it up here. Anyways, I'm here. Let's drop these down and let's head back to the municipal warehouse and pick up some more some more uh, things. I want to pick up things, don't I? Yes, things service uh, spare parts. And 
let's uh, see if we can do a few frames here so I can put up a YouTube uh, thumbnail. Thank you very much. Let's put the brake down. Give me... Oh! What? Did I? Can I only pick up metal beams here? For some reason I thought I had more options. Okay, that kind of sucks, but doesn't really matter. We have a sideboard trailer here, right? It's a flat semi-trailer. I don't think we can use a flat semi-trailer, can we? Flatbed semi-trailer. No, because we actually need um, the hook thing on our truck. So we'll just uh, go back and get winch this. terrible idea but I'm gonna be doing it anyway let's attach this trailer which contains some service material and some what's that that's hail not hail sorry isn't this like construction mats yeah that's construction materials or bricks or something okay I don't care, but I'm not going to be taking them off. I just want to get this there and pretty much leave it. Let's activate some all-wheel drive. Actually, yeah, because I got the improved suspension, I can only get uh, some better tires on this. That'd be great. I appreciate your uh, enthusiasm for switching over into second gear. But apparently it was uh, well deserved. Let's break cargo management. Let's do this. I just heard you took care of the rock slides. You're making quite a name for yourself. Great job. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll just leave this here. Okay. Attached trailer. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Uh, I thought you had a handbrake. I thought you had a handbrake. Okay. Apparently, they don't have handbrakes. Automatically activate when you detach the trailer. Or do I need to... Hmm. Okay, let's do a test. Let's do a test with me same incline here let's park it now let's do the detach trailer nope doesn't do shit <laughs> okay at the very least it stopped for a second there um i think it's a bit late in the episode to do anything specifically much else do i have anything um to pick up 
yeah, I just pick up this quest here. Might as well. Actually, yeah, let's let's do that. Uh, might as well keep you guys on uh, on board for this because there's only like a few of them. Let's uh, pick up this uh, quest there. Just have it tracked. And then we'll. Um, Go ahead and maybe pick up the second one as well, just to have them all solved and done. But for sure, uh, for uh, new maps which we're going to be opening up and uh, entering, we will for sure be. Uh, I will be uh, using a scout truck and off screen and just picking all of those up, just so I don't have to drag you guys along or wa uh, wonder whether you know, I have to pick up a quest on the other side of the map just so I can deliver some bricks on the other side of the map. That's pretty annoying. Okay, let's just do this. Ooh. Screech. It's not exactly true strap, but we. Okay, let's try it again. Uh, but we do what we can. The local motel is in bad shape and it's down to us to help out. You've got a shipment of equipment for them, can you deliver it? Okay, not exactly sure what the shipment of equipment would help them with, but I guess just maintenance and stuff. Okay, whatever. Let's uh, head down to the other one. The last one which we have to activate. Well, not the last one, but. Actually, this is pretty far. Should we just call this a day? I don't want to get you guys through this. Yeah, sure. Let's do this. Let's um recover the truck. Let's go to customize and put on that suspension we unlocked earlier today. Raised. Yeah, let's get this high up. Which would unlock the tires for me. Uh, I need rank 6 to get these old terrain tires. Right now, it's just more pieway tires, which... Oh, I don't care for. Uh, especially if you want to go and get that truck from the that horrible muddy terrain, for sure, as we need um, at the very least some uh, all terrain tires. At the very least. I don't think I would want these, but rank 8, that's ugh, way too much. So we're not going to get any tires, sadly enough. Not gonna be bothering with a snorkel, especially if it's since it's such a high truck anyway. I don't really have the cash for that. Um, but yeah, I think this is a good stopping point for today. Uh, next time, I'm not really sure what we're gonna be, gonna be doing. Um, maybe some of these deliveries. Maybe I don't know. Uh, getting some of these trailers out. We have another one, Drowned Heavy Truck, Motor Wall, Drainage, Riverside Repair, Delivered to Bozeman House. Hmm. Maybe we can do this? Don't we have like an oil tanker? Oh yeah, but we didn't take it up. But we have to take this oil tanker from here? Yeah, I think this seems solid. We'll just get the oil tanker from this thing and drag it back up to the, um, to the station here. Uh, but anyways, that's the next time. Again, uh, thank you guys for uh, uh, watching and playing with me. Um, again, if you like this uh, type of content, this you know calm, chill, no spazzing out type of content, please like, subscribe to the channel, as well as maybe leave a comment down below. Uh, this was Cosmo. Thank you for joining me on SnowRunner, and I'll see you guys next time.